Alright, so last time we figured out how to get MIDI into Ableton Live using the machine pad controller without having to use their dedicated software. Now that we've got that in there, we want to try to figure out how to route these individually into independent channels within Ableton Live. So on this track here, we have a kick, ride, and a snare. And we have a couple, but what we want to do is set up their own audio channels so that we can mix them independently and use our own plugins with inside of Ableton Live. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, to start off, we'll need to create three audio tracks. So right click here, insert audio track. And what I like to do is hit Control D and just duplicate it twice. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the machine channel and we're going to set up dedicated sends from machine to these channels here so let's open up machine as we play back we'll go ahead and select the ones we want on the kick we'll go ahead and set the master out to the external out 2 on the snare we'll set that on 3 on the hi-hat we'll set that on four. Now we close this out, go over to channel three, and highlight it, command R, and let's go ahead and rename this. Kick, and then the same for the next, snare, and the next, ride. Now, back to the kick channel, we're going to have to bring the audio in from machine. So what we're going to do is pull this down and select machine. Where it says post mixer, we'll go out channel 2 which will bring it in here. Now we're going to set the monitor in and hit the playback. Alright so we can see that we're getting the kick in on that channel. So now let's go to the snare. Again we're going to select machine and then go to out 3. Set the monitor to in and check it out. Great so now we're going to go to the right section and do the same thing again machine and we're gonna go for output 4 monitor in check it out the cool thing about it now is we can change anything we want as far as the levels just by using Ableton Live we can even bring in our own plugins so let's say let's distort that kick yeah not bad this way, you still can operate in Ableton Live, and you've got the freedom to do what you want to do. As always, have fun.